The other big story that we've been following today is that college shooting massacre in Oakland, California. A former student is accused of killing seven people and wounding three others yesterday. John Blackstone spoke with one of the survivors today. With an underwater robot and help from divers, Oakland police searched near a shoreline park for the gun used to kill seven people. At the small campus of Oikos University, investigators continued working the crime scene in rooms riddled with bullet holes. Police radio calls show the suspected gunman was quickly identified. The shooter is going to be a male Korean, about 40 years old, 5'5", heavy build. The suspect is 43-year-old Juan Go, an American citizen born in Korea. He was expelled from the university in January for behavioral problems. Police say he told them other students made fun of him because of his poor English. Last year, he lost two family members, his mother and brother. Investigators say he's being cooperative but has not shown remorse. Oakland police spokesman Jonna Watson says there's evidence the shooting was planned in advance. When the gunman entered the school, he did take a hostage. Uh, he was looking for a specific administrator who was not there. When he entered the classroom, he directed the students to line up against the wall. Before they had a chance to do that, he started shooting the students. In another classroom, Dechen Yang Zam hid with other nursing students. Uh, it's pretty much like the, what I hear in the movie things, you know, the bang, bang. It's pretty frightening to hear right outside yeah, the door. Yeah, it is so frightening. She jumped up, locked the door, and turned out the lights just before the gunman reached their classroom. Yeah. Did the bullets come through the door? Yeah, it did. Three times, I can say three times it came in our class. Three bullets came Two through please, the door? Yeah, because the glass were all scattered in the class. But you saved everyone. Just small thing like locking, just a locking the door really saved all of us. Otherwise, there's, uh, I think he might kill all of us. Dechen Yang Zam is being called a hero today, but she says she may find it difficult to return to this building, the small campus of Oikos University. And Scott, the accused shooter is scheduled to be arraigned here in Oakland tomorrow. John, thank you.